Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share with you that I've been testing a firmware update for the Carlinka T-Box Plus, and I'm really excited. So if you don't know what the T-Box Plus is, go check out that review video. Basically, it's something that turns your car's infotainment system into a tablet. It works really well. I've had it for a while now. I actually had the Android 12 version and then upgraded it to the Android uh, 13 version. And like I said, it's been working great. When I first upgraded to Android 13, I was really excited to see that they had presets for the split screen. So you could set a 70-30 split screen, a 60-40, a 50-50, uh, whatever you like, and you could select the two apps. So basically you would just tap the preset and it would automatically load both apps. And that was really great to have. Uh, uh, but they actually removed it. When I reached out to them, they said that uh, they removed it in a, a later firmware update because they didn't want it to clog people's screens up. And I gave them feedback that this is good to have. It's very popular. People want to have it. So um, in the update that I'm testing, uh, that I've been testing for a few weeks now, they added it back and it's been working great. So I'm excited to have that. Um, it also uh, enables launcher support again. So with the most recent Android 13 update, uh, third-party launchers like Nova Launcher uh, no longer worked when you went to the uh, task manager, the multitasking menu. It would just freeze up and, and not work. So um, it basically forced you to use the original launcher that they have. Well, this one, if you want to use a third-party launcher, you absolutely can. I have been testing Nova Launcher and it has been working fine, so I am excited about that. And then one additional feature of this that I'm really excited about, and I think you're going to be excited about too, is it enables hotspot and Wi-Fi at the same time. So in order to connect to wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, it uses the built-in hotspot functionality. Well, when you do that, it turns off the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity so it can't connect to maybe your phone's hotspot or the car's built-in hotspot or that type of thing. And it did cause some issues for some people where uh, there'd be delays connecting to wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and um, a variety of things. Well, now they've made it so that it will have both of them on at the exact same time. So you can have Wi-Fi on, have it connected to your phone's hotspot. Uh, but then if you want to load wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you just tap it and it loads really fast um, directly into it because it doesn't have to worry about trying to turn off Wi-Fi and turn on the hotspot in the background. They're just both on and it works very well. And uh, I'm very excited to have that. And I think you guys, like I said, are going to be excited too. So um, I did confirm with them that the firmware is not officially out there on their website yet, uh, but I am allowed to share it. So uh, I downloaded it from their server uh, to my computer and then I uploaded it to my website. Uh, and I'll share the link for you guys in the description. You can feel free to download it to your computer, uh, move it to a micro SD card, and then install it in your T-Box Plus. It is very easy to install. Again, this is for the North American version. Those of you in, in Europe, you'd have to uh, wait for an official version to come out, but the North American uh, people can, can take advantage of this. Um, but basically, you go to the FOTA upgrade app on your T-Box Plus, go to the local uh, portion of it and navigate to the update file, and it will update your T-Box Plus. And like I said, it works really well. Anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions on the Carlink at T-Box Plus. I'll post links in the description for you guys uh, to my website where you can download the firmware update uh, as well as to various videos that I've done on the T-Box Plus. Uh, it's something that I highly recommend, especially for the price because it, it really does turn your uh, car's infotainment system into a tablet uh, and it works great for me and I know a lot of other people are very happy with it. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.